Hello everyone, today we have an iPhone X that is not turning on at all. As you can see, the phone is not water damaged and as far as you can see, the phone is clean and I was the first to open it. So we will see what's wrong with it and try to fix it. First we need to see how the phone behaves when turning on using the power supply, so we can understand exactly what's the issue and how to solve it. So we connected the phone to the power supply and as you can see it's drawing almost 1 ampere when pressing the power button and that's not normal. So it looks like we have a short on the board that we need to remove. So let's disassemble the phone and search for the short. The iPhone X as you all know is a sandwich board which means that we have two boards soldered on top of each other. So before we heat the boards to desolder them, search for the short on the elements that are visible on top. Then if needed, desolder the board and search for the shorted element. So as you can see, this capacitor looks weird. So I will remove it and see if that changes anything. Sorry I didn't record the measurement of that capacitor before I removed it. To show you that it was shorted. As you can see, the short now is gone and the phone should be working. The shorted rail is a PP 1.8 volt I.O. and it is the main 1.8 volt rail in the board. It provides power to the CPU and the NAND and other chips on the board, which explains why it was drawing almost 1 ampere. In this case the power rail goes through this capacitor that was damaged. And the capacitor was no longer working as a capacitor but rather as a direct line to the ground. It's hard to understand why it was damaged. It could be a fall or just a factory defect, which in most cases is the most likely option. Now let's see how the phone boots on the power supply. As you can see it boots normally and now let's assemble the phone and check for everything. So this was a very fast repair which is not so common these days. So that will be it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting repair videos. And if you have any other questions just leave them in the comment section down below and I will try to answer them. See you next time.